On a beautiful Saturday morning, Greyhound Friends hosted their annual 5K walk and run. There was plenty of entertainment for the hounds and the humans, and the proceeds went to a great cause. Um, right now we have a very old system that we use to clean the dog's teeth, so it's about a $5,000 uh, new mach dental machine that we're trying to raise the money for, so all the proceeds from this will go to a new dental machine to clean the dog's teeth, because a lot of the racers come off the racetrack and they have pretty bad teeth, so we used to clean them, and well, so now they're under anesthesia for a little less time, get their teeth cleaned and get spayed or neutered. Upton native and now Somerville resident Matt Tiuli finished first overall in the 5K, while Hopkinton native Lauren Hazard was the first female to cross the finish line and finished second overall. So we, um, my family, and these are my parents behind you right here, uh, and those are our two dogs right there, Margot and Chester. Uh, we've had greyhounds in my family since. Gosh, I was nine years old, so almost 20 years now. Uh, we've been coming here to Greyhound Friends, so this was a really awesome opportunity to come out from Somerville and see the family and you know, get a chance to run a cool race, the first of its kind, and support a really great charity on an awesome day. So, How was the course out there? Oh my gosh, it was hilly. Um, it was a great day to run, which helped, but uh, I don't think I anticipated the whole first mile was straight uphill, but it was nice and, uh, nice and downhill after that, so it was a nice little coast to the finish. Well, you finished in first place, so it couldn't have been that bad. <laughs> it was, yeah. I'm, a, I'm actually kind of a retired racer myself. Um, I used to run in high school and college and a little bit after, but um, I took almost a five or six year hiatus, so uh, it's kind of analogous, I guess, in a way. All these guys are retired racers. I'm a bit of a retired racer, so it was, it was cool to kind of lace them up again and come out and have a chance to compete again, especially for this great cause. So. Right, was this your first time in the Greyhound Friends race? Uh, for yeah, so first time running here. Um, I think it's gonna have to be an annual tradition. This is amazing. So um, hopefully next year and many years to come after that. All right, and uh, can you talk about your dogs a little bit? How old are they? Where'd you get them? Yeah, we got them right here at Greyhound Friends. Uh, Margot is eight years old and Chester is seven years old. Uh, before that, we had uh, Greta and Rudy, um, and they've passed. But those were—I mean, these are just the best dogs in the world. They're—they're they're so gentle and loving and caring and grateful. And I mean, I feel like everybody should have a Greyhound. They're just amazing dogs to have. All right. Well, you're probably as fast as one. <laughs> I wish. Congratulations on finishing first. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, I liked it. It was a good course. Uh, it was definitely difficult. One of the hillier courses we could pick in Hopkinton, but it was a good one. And what made you want to run today? Um, I've been a volunteer staff member here at the shelter for three years now. Um, I started the volunteer program, Trails for Tails. Um, I love getting involved with the dog. It's great to see them like get out of the shelter, have a good time. So I think it's a great event. What's uh, Tales for Trails all about? Um, it's a volunteer program where people sign up for like a weekly slot and then they can take uh, any of our dogs out for like hikes or runs out on like nearby trails we have by here. So just people get good exercise, the dogs get good exercise. So Excellent. How would someone get involved with, uh, with that? Just come down here and... Yeah, um, well I was a volunteer here for two years and then I just started this this past year, so. All right, excellent. Uh, were you happy with your uh, time out there? Yeah, um, not in great shape right now. I'm just starting up training for college, but I think it was a good starting point. Well, you were first place for the female, so I yeah. think <laughs> Yeah. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. All right, and um, I heard you organized the event today. Uh, can you talk about what went into organizing it and how long that took? Sure. Actually, my daughter, Melissa Lundgren, did a lot of the organizing. I just kind of followed her directions. But um, we, we talked to a lot of vendors. We've had a lot of people that have stepped up and offered to donate. Uh, we have doggy massages here and people selling collars and leashes. We have Not Your, Not Your Average Joes came and they set up a booth for us. Um, 
And Foodies Cafe donated all the sandwiches for us. So we've had a lot of people really step forward and, and help out, luckily. So, um, Excellent. A beautiful yeah. day uh, for today's yeah. event. Uh, can you just talk about how uh, everything went and uh, did people seem to enjoy it? Yeah, I think we had, well, over 100 racers. Um, we're going to think about 120 is, was the last number. And it seems like everything went well. So we. A lot of people are still filing in with dogs. A lot of people are walking with dogs, and they took, they emptied pretty much our entire shelter. We have 30 plus dogs in our shelter, and they emptied uh, pretty much all of them to uh, walk with them. So, terrific day for people and dogs.